fostering bilateral relationships between the UK and Germany is vital to make sure that the innovation environment in the UK and the innovation environment in Germany can collaborate, can work together closely. Large companies very often have the resources, they have the areas of interest, but it's the innovation coming from really small companies and from SMEs more generally that drive innovation and hopefully through projects like this we'll see that sort of bilateral innovation really coming forward and seeing Germany and the UK working even closer together in the future. Apple was a startup, Microsoft was a startup, so uh, we have to look at these uh, highly innovative companies and extraordinarily talented entrepreneurs, first and foremost really if we're to uh, discover the new, new thing that's going to be transformative. The technologies that are being addressed at the UK Germany Digital Passport Global Challenge are artificial intelligence and machine learning, as well as distributed ledger technologies, including blockchain. So the startups will be able to get the chance to be exposed to a very interesting problem, a chance to engage and pitch their solutions to the challenge owners throughout over the course of the semi finals and the finals. What we are looking for is understanding how we can use data from our industrial drives and generate business value out of that for our customers to make manufacturing industry better. We understand the problem. I have no idea what the right solutions are going to be. The more variety of skills and approaches that we have to it, the better. The greater the chance we come up with something really interesting and new and valuable. We're thrilled to be working with a range of partners across both the UK and Germany who are able to share their expertise and networks with us to ensure the challenge is a great success. As Land der Ideen sind wir die Experten hier in Deutschland, was Wettbewerber angeht. Wir haben ein sehr großes Netzwerk an Multiplikatoren und Institutionen und natürlich der Ansatz und die Fragestellung, wie Blockchain oder andere Technologien, künstliche Intelligenz helfen können, Supply Chains zu optimieren. Das ist natürlich eine sehr spannende Frage und ich bin sehr gespannt, was dabei rauskommt.